Hey, yo, what's up, everybody? Holmes here, and welcome, or welcome back to more Monster Hunter World Beta. I believe this is gonna be the final beta because the game is coming out next week, so there's no point in releasing any more betas, right? And this beta is gonna last until I believe the 22nd or the 21st. Um, so it's like Tuesday, Monday, Monday, probably Monday. Uh, gotta have to double check, but I'll put the information about like the beta runtime. Uh, in the description so you guys can check it out if you want but anyways today we are going to be taking on this brand new monster that they've been showing off but never let us fight before unless you go to their special events where they hold like um conventions and stuff which i don't know where but i know that's where you get to fight them but now you can finally fight them on your ps4 as long as you have the beta and this guy is the nerd gigante Oh man, this guy, it's so far, well actually, it's probably because of the time. You only have 15 minutes instead of 20 minutes to fight him. So probably, that's, I think that's what makes this guy hard, because of the freaking tight ass time. So we, I'm going to be using a long sword to fight him, and I'm going to do my best to explain how you can beat this guy, okay? So, first up, I just threw three poison darts at him, so he can get poison, chip away some of it uh, at some of his health. And I got swiped there. I didn't see where, what he was doing. So I got hit. And boom, he hit me again. Holy shit. This is a bad start right here. Uh, get away. The best spots to kind of stand is kind of uh, behind his... Or towards his two back legs. Uh, back leg and the tail. And I got the mount here, so that was pretty sweet. So I stayed behind him as much as possible. Uh, this guy, you see him having... like He has a shitload of spikes. But... This first layer of spikes, uh, they're nothing, okay? Because once, uh, you can just keep attacking them. But once you break off these first layer of spikes, like at his arm, at his tail, I don't know if the wings really matter, uh, the ones at his face, uh, once you break these off, new spikes will form. And these spikes will turn, like, will form from, like, tiny little white spikes, and it's gonna turn big. And once it turns big, it's gonna start turning black. And once it turns black, it's gonna be it's gonna be like armor which you can't cut through. Okay, so that's gonna be a problem. And right there, I actually hit one of the toads, the uh, paralyzed toads. So this guy got paralyzed, and I did my spirit, my spirit slash on his ass, and got a little buff there. But yeah, his spikes will regrow and they'll get turned hard. But you can break them off uh, while they're like growing into the black spikes okay and once you break off the spikes that um that he's regrowing you'll stun him for a short amount of time you'll knock him over i think that's the only way to knock him over um i have never well yeah i have never actually landed an attack that just dropped him other than breaking the spikes on his arms or his tail okay so he's got some white spikes right there uh there's a toad right here so i'm trying to use this to paralyze him because parrot the paralyzed uh, knives does not work on him. Uh, traps don't work either, so don't bother trying to um, use any of those. Because it's not going to work. I've tried it. Uh, most likely because he's an elder dragon, that's why it won't work. And got more spirit attack. Okay. I'm trying to, I'm trying to break off the tail spikes right here. Um, Okay, if he stands up like this, watch out for the slam. You can dodge that by just rolling around him from left or right. It doesn't matter. I cho usually choose the left side. Okay, if he's looking at you, just keep backing away. Okay, I'm I'm checking where he's at right now. I'm, I know there's more uh, one, more of those paralyzing toads here. There's one right there, so I'm trying to lead him towards it. Get him to pop him, get him to stand in this paralyzed cloud here so he gets paralyzed he get paralyzed all right cool okay i'm gonna go after the uh spikes on his arm I'm trying to break that and we get the break we do not get the break do we get the break come on there we go see so we broke it and now he got knocked over and i'm gonna use the long sword special attack all right i forgot what's called uh so yeah <laughs> someone someone can mention it or Alright, this move right here when he screams, be really careful, okay? Because when he screams, when he has like black spikes all over and he screams and he does that, and he starts flying, that move will take away like about 95% of your health. So if you get chipped a little bit and you get hit by that insta kill, okay? So, but if you have max health, uh, you should be able to survive it. 
Uh, but if you got like damaged a little bit and you get hit by that move, insta kill. The way to, do to dodge it, the timing is super freaking tight, okay? If you have your weapon out while he's doing that, you have to put it away and the moment he's starting to dive, you have to run and dodge. You have to do the panic dodge where your character jumps. Okay, with a little jump and it looks all stupid. You have to do that one immediately. If you try to roll dodge it, I don't know if you can do it. I've never pulled it off. I always get killed by it if I try to roll dodge it. Because even though if he doesn't hit you, the spikes on his body will fly off. And if it hits you, it's gonna, you're going to take a lot of damage. So that is why you want to do the panic dodge. Because the panic dodge, as long as you're like jump doing that panic little flying animation, you are invulnerable, okay? So you cannot be hit. That's why you want to, the moment he flies up, you want to put away your weapon and just um, just get ready to dodge, get ready to do that panic dodge. That's that's like the way to survive that one. Other than that, I don't, unless he's targeting some, somebody else, but the timing is like, I don't know, it's really hard to dodge that one. The, the splash on his spikes, that shit's crazy. Okay, so this is the second part that he goes to. It looks like he's getting tired. So I'm going to get some um, spirit combo off and he got me before I got him. That move you can dodge by rolling away. Uh, if you have a little bit of distance, you can roll away or you can roll towards his tail. Right here where he extends his wing like that, uh, stay away from the wings. Especially like the outside of the wings because it can hurt you. Okay, But if you're like near his back legs, inside his wings, near his back legs, you'll be safe. Um, you can, it's also a good time to get some damage in while he's doing that because he just stands there for like, yeah, see? He stands there for like, I don't know, five seconds and you can get some damage in behind him. Uh, try not to go for his face unless you're using hammer. No, I don't even know if hammer can damage his face. I'm assuming it can. But, yeah, uh, usually when I use a longsword and I try to hit his face, it'll bounce. So, I try to stay away from his face. I try to go for his back and legs as much as possible. And the tail, and the tail. So I'm going for the tail right now, I'm trying to break the, the spikes so we can get another stun on him. Uh, be careful about staying near his back legs, because sometimes he'll do this 180 spin. <clears throat> you can telegraph it, or you can you can even hear it. If you hear like the rattlesnake noise, like where his tail is shaking, those, like those rattlesnakes, like, tss, tss, um, that means he's going to do a 180 turn with a claw attack. It won't insta kill you, but it will do um, probably one fourth, well, down one fourth of your health, I believe. So be careful. And the tail slam. It looks like it has a delay, but the moment you see him raise his tail, you just want to dodge because if you if you wait, you're gonna get hit. It comes down really fast. I always like think, oh yeah, it's okay. I can get another another hit in before I dodge it, but no, <laughs> I get hit. So the moment you see his tail uh, rise up, you just want to dodge. All right, he's gonna do a little side wing brush attack so you can just dodge towards his tail to avoid it uh, if you stay near his back legs you, you can pretty much survive most of his shit see he just did a 180 move that's why you want to keep an eye on him and you can also hear it too okay tail has gotten hard this is not good so the only other parts that can really damage is his arm, and the right arm seems to have fully turned black spikes as well. So I can only do the, the left arm right now. I'm gonna try my best. So I'm gonna... Uh, okay. Well I got my spirit gauge traded off for a hit, so I don't know if that was really worth it. I'm trying to sever his tail here. Oh uh, shit. Dodge. Oh, he just straight up missed. I didn't even need to dodge. And I recently found out, I didn't know this before, but you can you can run while healing. Yeah, I never I usually just walk. But I end up um holding Oh here it comes, here it comes. See, so you have to put away a weapon and do the panic dodge. See? That's how you do it. That's how you avoid that shit. Um otherwise if you are too late, if you're like a split second too late and that thing touches you while you're like while your health is chipped, you're screwed. Unless you got like super super armor or something, like you built your armor set around defense, then if <laughs> otherwise you're probably gonna get get KO'd if you get scratched. So he runs he's running away right now. Sometimes he'll go to the left side. But he'll always end up at the same place when he goes to sleep. 
Uh, most of the time he'll come this way though. If you interrupt him while he's coming to this route, he'll take the left side. Um, so yeah, if you like flash him while you're trying to get away, um, he'll most likely take the left route. But once you make him limp there, he'll he'll go to the same uh, same place it's in the bottom area. So I sharpen my weapon, give myself a little boost. He always hangs out right here once he gets over here. Okay, he's pissed. He kind of like has a second stage once he's um. Oh shit! Okay, just a wing attack. That's good. I can just get more damage in, no problem. Okay, when he screams like that, you know, and he stands still, I believe this is like the second stage where he gets a little bit more aggressive. Because when he's close to dying, he gets he gets more aggressive. Uh, when you stun him, well, not by breaking off, but when you just hit him and he stuns, he'll just he'll flinch back and then he'll just uh, get back to his normal stance. So yeah, and tail slam, damn it, he got hit. Oh, you see his you see his arms growing, growing that spike. Try to damage it right now. And another thing you want to do is try to focus on one arm, so you know you can actually break the freaking thing before it turns all like hard armor on you. I'm trying to damage the one on the on his left arm before it goes into super armor. Pop! Damn it! Pop! There we go. So we got some damage off from that, and I'm gonna charge my spear gauge. Can I get it to red? Can I get it to red? Yes, I can! Okay. This is good. This is good. It's flying slam. You can, you can just run away. <laughs> you can just run straight away. If he just does that flying, um, flying arm slam, you can just run straight away to avoid that. But if he's doing that dive bomb with the spikes, do not... Do not try to just run, okay? Unless he's targeting, like, another someone else or something. Otherwise, don't even bother trying that shit. And right here, he actually catches me off guard. He screams. I thought he was just gonna scream too, like... I thought he was just screaming because he was dying and I stunned him. But no, he was actually screaming because he was gonna do his little dive bomb arm... No, not arm. Dive bomb spike attack. As you guys can see, it just wiped me out. I don't even know how much HP I have. I think I was close to max, and it just killed my ass right there. But it's okay, because uh, I spawned near the camp. That's near where he's going, which is really near, so I don't think I lost too, out on too much. Maybe I could have killed him like a couple of seconds earlier if I didn't die, but whatever. So back to the same strategy, uh, try to focus on that one arm. Uh, pick an arm, and boom, off goes your tail, bitch. Alright, so we're gonna try to get that right arm again, or my bad, left arm. Get that head slam. Okay, just run away, run away. See, if he's doing that flying attack, even though if you get hit, uh, just run. Like, run straight back, don't try to like zigzag around or something, because like, you're gonna waste time and he's probably gonna nail you if you try to do that. And also, if he has a lot of spikes on his face, and he does a head slam, there's a chance he'll uh, fling those spikes straight out, so don't stand in front of him. That's why I try not to stay near his face. There's lots of like... He does. He also does projectile attacks. Alright, we got his arm! Yeah, it's just that... It's not as effective as like other monsters like Rathalos and stuff, because they can shoot fireball. This guy can shoot his freaking horns, but it's gotta be directly in front of him. And it's really easy to avoid. Just stay away from him, sit uh, from his face, and you'll be good. So key tactic, I don't know what weapon you're using, maybe it'll change. But for long swords, um, or from what I've experienced, I think staying near the back legs, it's it's the best way to go. Um, and once he grows those horns on his arm or his tail, go for it. Uh, just try to focus on one. Don't try to alternate because otherwise it's gonna get hard before you can uh, before you can do much and there we go down goes Nar Gigante. this guy is pretty freaking badass he's also an elder dragon 
That's why uh, like pitfall and shock traps won't work. Uh, I don't know if um, the paralysis need, uh, knives will work, but five does not work, I'll tell you that. Because <laughs> I tried it, didn't work. And yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this video. So hopefully this video has been entertaining and helpful and enjoyable. And uh, yeah, if you all found all three of those qualities in this video, then hey, stay tuned for the walkthrough once the official game comes out on January 26th, which is next week, Friday. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, but until then, I hope to see you all when Monster in the World officially releases. Alright, enough said, that's that, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Homes, out.